besties. You want me to talk about Tia Mari? Let me actually see what happened and I shall talk about Tia Mari, child. Mm, mm, mm. How are you? I'm okay. <sighs> oh yeah, that's the sound of someone who's okay. Now this is an older video. This is from 2022. What do you do for work? <laughs> Do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> How many siblings do you have? Oh, you have a lot. You have a lot. <gasps> what do you do for work? <laughs> Mm -hmm. This was all the fun and games that I was talking about on that live stream. Somebody got this from the Jasmine brand. Tia Mari reveals she's dating again following divorce from Corey Hardrick. Again, giving up TMI. Girl, we do not care. But she doing all these tickety talk videos. Her comment down here was saying at the time, fun fact, I've never been on the dating scene my entire life. So when I tell you I'm nervous and terrified of doing this whole dating thing, I mean it. Even though I'm in my 40s, I feel so inexperienced. And while it would be easy to just throw in the towel and avoid the something for awkwardness and hurt, I know God's got me. Of course he does. If you're feeling apprehensive about new experiences, know you got this and we're in this together. And of course, you know, this sis is in here happy for her. She wanted him to grow. It wasn't about cheating. Just like Shumpert, he was jealous of her success and growth. Growth with me or grow aside. I'm sorry, grow with me or grow aside. Mm -hmm. Is that what it was, child? Ew, it's good to go back down memory lane, y'all, because people be forgetting. Corey didn't cheat. Everyone's blaming him, but Tia wants those streets. She thinks grass greener on the other side, but it's nothing but disease. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> She'll be making all these TikTok videos with short dresses, short skirts for attention. She wants a man or woman, each to its own. Um, somebody says she's ABCD um, LGBT. It, get, it got worse. I feel like it's about to get worse off. Oh, ah! It got worse. It got worse. You know, my marriage was a success. Yeah. I look at it as like a curriculum when you're in college or high school, right? You're learning, you're growing, you're evolving, you're creating. And I was able to create with Corey some beautiful, amazing children. And at the end of that curriculum, and at the end, there's a graduation, there's a celebration. Yeah. Graduated from marriage. Give her a round of applause. We shall tell her to go take that mess where? Back there. Oh, it all comes back to all the old videos. See, this what I'm talking about. Running off at that gold mouth. Here you go. Yeah, you wanted to hang out with Gabrielle, married woman. You want to play all these TikTok games. Then you came out here starting to talk all the sugar, honey, iced tea, knowing daggone well that you weren't doing right. Or you weren't happy, I should say. Recovering from a divorce feels like a whirlwind journey. I found that through the process, divorce is in a place where we arrive. It's entering a new chapter of life with many nuances and no one size fits all handbook. One moment you're relieved, feeling like you've conquered something significant. Then suddenly, waves of emotions hit you all over again. It's a side of divorce that isn't often discussed, especially when there are kids involved. You strive to be a role model, teaching them resilience and self-care. You try different things to soothe and release emotional buildup with exercise, journaling your thoughts, meditation, and seeking therapy to cope with the breakup and the dreams you had for the future. It may sound cliche, but time truly does have a way of soothing pain. Someday, I believe I'll be able to look back on this time with nothing but warmth and gratitude for the beautiful children brought into my life and the stronger version of myself that emerged from the experience. For anyone who is going through this, I would love to hear your experience, share your story because there's power in dialogue. As women, we take our power back by sharing our stories and bringing any deep shame we hold from this experience into the light. I love you guys. Girl, child, where is the Price is Right button? Because y'all know I'd have been buttoning it up through this whole daggone wah, 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 wah. She, you hear she's appealing allegedly to women. She trying to 
play on women and say, oh, I know you understand. Come be with me. Oh my God, I need you. You need me. Let's sisterhood bond together. Let us bond together. Girl, I thought you graduated. Girl, I thought you graduated. You over here saying gobbledygook because ain't nobody snatched your ass up. And the reason why more than anything, listen to me when I tell you, y'all. The reason why more than any damn thing is that this woman don't know how to STFMF in you. I'm telling you, these people that run off at the damn mouth, she just said nothing. What she just said was a bunch of words that meant after. Go seek therapy. We don't care. Girl should have been exercising. That's not a big deal. Girl, you should have gotten some damn therapy. That's not a big deal. Girl, if you want to meditate, whatever that says, then go meditate. Don't sit up here and act like you're uh, now you're so put upon and people should understand that it's things that we go through. Bitch, we told you that long ass time ago. We said that way back when. But people don't ever want to listen. You biatches don't want to listen. You know it all. You've got it going on. We just saw in what she had previously put up there. Everything was everything, child. Everything was everything, child. You graduated. This is a new chapter in your life. You've done this and it's been great. And Corey and this and Corey and that. And again, let me make sure I said, we still ain't heard sugar, honey, iced tea from Corey. This woman don't know how to shut up. That's why most of y'all can't have no damn relationships. Besides the fact that your standards for some of y'all is crazy. You don't know how to be quiet. You're looking for validation from the damn internet. A bunch of people that don't know you. Don't give a damn at the end of the daggone day. You want the people that can trauma bond with you. So that you can have a bunch of more people that make you feel better about your effed up life. Instead of just going ahead and going behind closed doors to take care of your damn kids and focus on that and raising them and working with your daggone ex-husband. Nope. I don't see anywhere in here where, you know, she's saying that she want to be back with Corey. She want to be with somebody. I'm not saying that it's Corey, but she definitely want to be with some damn body. And that's why she keeps making these damn videos. Because, child, ain't no way you coming out here to deliver all this personal information just because you ain't had nothing else better to do. Girl, you're delivering all this personal ass information after your graduation and something, 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 something just ain't right. Come out here and admit to the fact that you effed up, you were wrong, you want to apologize, and people need to think long and hard before they decide to do what you did. The proof is in the pudding. I've been saying this for years that I believe that this marriage would not make it because he just looks miserable as if he's been tolerating her. Like, he's never happy in anything she poked. The proof is in the pudding. I've been saying this for years that I believe that this marriage would not make it because he just looks miserable as if he's been tolerating her. Like he's never happy in anything she posts. Oh, the therapist on TikTok are going to go by social media. And that's half of the problem with these biatches and why they can't have relationships because they think the shit on the Internet is real. I don't know. I don't understand why they don't know that people be lying all damn time. They're going to go buy a damn TikTok damn video that this damn woman made that the man probably didn't even want to do, but he did it to satisfy her. And they don't see it that way, right? They see it like, oh, he looks miserable. Damn it, he didn't want to do it. I promise you he didn't want to do it. I promise you he didn't want to do it. What man wants to run around here? Shout out to all that do. But what man really wants to run around here talking about relationships and making videos on effing TikTok? Who? Who? Don't talk about um, Ace Metaphor. That's different. I'm talking about crap like this. No man, especially a married damn man, unless they're doing it together for the money. This man wasn't interested in this mess. This is really what she wanted to do. This is the reason that they, that they, ugh, that they got divorced. She's the reason that they got divorced. She's the one that wanted to do this mess. Now she has the, the authority and the time and everything else to do it. Oh, you can't make it up. And then to hear this from 2022. Yeah, exactly. Because y'all don't be knowing shit. Y'all don't be knowing shit. But y'all be looking at crap like this, trying your best to make shit a man's fault to your own damn detriment because it's the same damn thing that you want listening to people on damn internet effing ish up for yourselves. Congratulations to you. You played yourself. Now you know what it is, even though you already knew because I'm sure somebody told you. And if not, you need to get rid of all the damn quote unquote friends that you got because you know daggone well that you effed up and you thought somebody would have you by now. And don't nobody want your ass. You and them kids. No offense against the kids, of course. But now you want to sit up here and have all this reflection time. Girl, please just be quiet and go behind closed doors. Please just go behind closed doors and deal with your emotion and your trauma, child. 
that's it that's all like this tag on video make sure you comment subscribe if you are new i see you all in the next one we do not care <laughs>